hello everyone so in today's video i'm going to be sharing my process of an abstract painting of a salamander so i have a question have you ever drawn something over and over again that you ended up deconstructing it well that's what happened in my case I'm going to be sticking with just black and white. If that is even considered a color, is black and white considered a color, do you think? <laughs> I don't think so. Apparently I, I heard that black is just merely a shade and white is, white. what is white if it's not a color? Anyhow, I'm sticking to that uh, color scheme to keep it nice and simple sometimes it's just nice to keep it simple and also stepping out of the zone because i'm actually a color lover intensely in love with color and yeah so you're going to get me out of the zone so for the painting project i'm going to be using this as my surface <laughs> so it was actually a packaging uh, for something that I bought and I thought, hmm, I could probably use this for something else. I, I think I can spot <laughs> a good surface, um, especially as, as an artist. Yeah, so I typically like to use more smoother surfaces as well for my painting. I just hate the textured. I prefer to make texture on my paintings um, and not actually uh, use the texture of, of the, the packaging. So I think this is gonna work out perfectly. So next up, I am talking about the actual paints that I'm going to be using. We should make them face this way. And I'm going for white and black as i already mentioned um i'm gonna be using this okay i don't know what happened to <laughs> yeah it seems like something happened and we don't know what the brand is nah, i'm just kidding it's actually um artist lofts uh, paint and it says it's a medium viscosity which i am guessing it means that actually you know what i actually don't remember again what that means maybe it means that it's the consistency is just a medium um, consistency so it's not too thick and it's not too uh, thin yeah so if you do know more about viscosity please uh, throw it into uh, the chat um, yeah so yeah, I haven't gotten all nerdy yet with my paints uh, since I started last year, but yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting into it. And then I've also got this titanium white Liquitex, which is probably one of my favorites so far, my favorite paints so far. Um, yeah, so it says here it's heavy body acrylic uh, Liquitex, and uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy and you know a little goes a long way this is one thing i really love about liquitex uh, so don't be fooled by this tiny little bottle <laughs> or tiny little tube and thinking like oh my gosh this is fifty dollars okay it's not fifty dollars but it's yeah quite a little bit on the pricier end uh but it does uh, go a long way for sure okay um, so far, these two are, are have been pretty good. And then, of course, uh, black doesn't... We don't tend to use black a lot, so I'm, I'm using Lamp Black. I really like black as a color. Um, sorry, Lamp Black is what I really like um, when I'm using it for painting. Yeah. Yeah, so let me know what, what ranges of... Uh, white I guess and lamp blacks that you guys actually like to use um, yeah let me know what you think so I'm going to be priming with gesso as well um, 
as you can see i haven't used this one uh, but this is just uh, what a premium premium gesso that i'm going to use to actually prime my canvas <laughs> yes so i guess you can just paint it and then just leave it for you know for that 30 minutes to dry up so i'm going to do that really quick it shouldn't even take a minute to paint all of this it looks like <laughs> oh my gosh this is where the struggles <laughs> it's okay I don't know if that was a good idea putting water on the brush am I gonna have to dab this oh my gosh okay I know I love smooth services but I think this is going to be really hard to paint over <laughs> I had no idea this was going to be so hard I am going to keep it thick I guess uh, I'm literally wiping it off the whole thing just wiping it out oh no did I get some on my got some on my cloth on my just like a little dab I guess um, I guess I can manage with that that's why don't wear your special clothing when you're painting and um, probably if you're using a smoother surface and you're priming probably just use a uh, less wet brush oh boy the struggles i love the struggles i don't know <laughs> about you um but i find like if i'm working with something else like um let's say a digital tool then it just ends up it's just so quick it's there's no struggle like to get the thing that you want okay so i have another brush over here from i can't remember what this brush was i just don't have an idea because i just bought these brushes from Amazon I think it was okay I think this is a bit better a little bit less um, <laughs> oh my gosh am I just like dropping paint onto my dress or okay that was just <laughs> this is what it was just a little tissue and it looked like Okay, so I'm going in with a smaller brush now so that uh, uh, or maybe I'll just go with a bigger brush. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to do this really quick because I do have to vamonos and head out. So I'm just going to do this really quick and yeah. I actually have to be very quick I don't know if the edge is really so this is the next day I am continuing on with my little painting process it's probably gonna take a few days um, with this one to be honest 
um, and so I might actually have to do this in parts so yeah let's uh, let's get rolling I'm gonna show you what I'm working on so far it's a little bit faint um, I'm just doing the drawing part of this and I'm using a what's this a sketching light wash pencil that I actually got from a place called Desserts here in um, Ontario in Montreal uh, yeah they seem to have a pretty a, a wide range of just art art supplies only which I think is always uh, very helpful to find a place that focuses on just art supplies <clears throat> okay so it's actually a little hard for you to see the pencil markings but I'll just show you where I'm getting the inspiration from. So this is um, the salamander that I drew um, in another at another time. And yeah, now, although it's just merely a sketch, I'm gonna be expanding on that on this uh, board as well. A little book. Yes, yeah, so it's gonna be a little hard for you to see some. Probably just gonna do, uh, it's just gonna go really fast with this one. So I've started mixing the paint, I'm kind of running low on paint. So I'm actually going to get really, I guess I'm going to get ghetto with this and I'm just going to cut it and scoop out the paint. Yeah, because I, I want to use every single bit of this paint. <laughs> and paint can be on the pricier end. Um, yeah. So I need a scissors. So I'm going to use some of this Liquitex to begin with. And I'm going to use quite a bit of medium. Well, not a lot just enough to get me rolling. Okay, the challenge, ah, I love the challenge. The challenge! <laughs> okay, so let's see. What happens with Liquitex paints? I think I told you already. <laughs> I'm repeating myself here, but it goes a long way. Just watch watch what's gonna happen here it's heavy body paint anyway so it's supposed to go a long way so I'll take my flat brush there and just mix it all in I will probably have to purchase some more over the weekend and just mixing it all in. Mm. 
Okay, so and I need to put a little bit of black in this one. Um, and there we go. Probably I'll put it on the side first and then I'll mix in a little bit at, at a time because sometimes you end up with way too much black in there and that's not reversible. Well, <laughs> I guess you will need more white for that. So here we go. Mixing in some of that black. See, it's still fairly thick. That's what I like about Liquitex, is that you mix it with some medium and it's still pretty, like it's not watery. It doesn't become like a whole watery mess. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> so I've got a super light gray over here. I'm not sure if you can see, I think I do have quite a bit of daylight there, but this is a super, super duper light gray. And then I can do another gray. So I'm gonna just wash my brush. I have two containers of water. As you can see, I do a lot of painting, a lot of painting, and I think it's only fair that I show you the real stuff that happens <laughs> behind the scenes. You know, I've mostly done drawings, digital drawings, but this is like the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. Okay, so I think I'm ready to get started. And yeah, for this part, I'm probably gonna go super fast and you'll actually get to, to see it in detail as well. And there it is so far. Um, I guess you can see very lightly, you can see the salamander very, very lightly, very faintly. Um, but at least I've got that white paint on and I can actually start to um, go in a little bit more. So I again have to jump on over to another um, <laughs> area unrelated to painting <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, 
<clears throat> Mama, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing?
so yeah i think you can sort of notice that i'm pretty intuitive when it comes to painting um i don't have like a sort of uh i might as you have seen i've done uh, some preparation there a little bit of planning with the drawing but once i start painting it's very intuitive and yeah I mean you could s certainly see some of the uh, blending techniques there and <clears throat> yeah it's something that probably will take me a little bit of uh, time uh, to work on and yeah probably I probably will work on this a little bit more and I'm actually using this little brush that I'm using is actually a watercolor brush of mine. I just love it. I'm trying to find a brush that could give me um, some or help me out with some of the tinier details um, and it seems to be really hard. I think I need to personally go to a store and just like look for a good brush um i just don't ever seem to find good brushes for details i don't know if anybody actually has an idea of what brushes i could use Um, yeah, because I mean, I guess <laughs> I don't do as much watercolors at the moment anyway, so I guess I can just steal this from my watercolor set. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a stolen brush. This is stolen. <laughs> <clears throat> I loved watercolors though, by the way. They're fantastic too. But. So. Oh. The other challenge that I had here was actually in painting the details. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking about getting other brushes, but at the same time, I have to use what I have. And so I took this tiny little brush and of course it had little stray uh, strands, I guess, and I had to figure out how to work with it and I ended up just chopping off some of the strands. Yeah.
paint. Yeah, so, okay. And this little detailed section that has taken me quite a while to do, keeping it a little bit more on the wetter side of things actually really helps. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that kind of works a little bit more. I'm going to blend it a bit more in. Um, probably don't need a smaller brush for that. I'm just going to go with this medium-ish, small-ish brush. It's actually more medium, I think. And I don't want that much paint or white. I'm go with the third gray that I created, which is sort of more, a little bit darker. Fantastic. Okay. So this is the f end of the first part of this video. So far, I'm actually feeling pretty. <laughs> Strangely enough, even with all the with all the struggles that I'm facing, I'm actually really uh, enjoying it. Uh, <laughs> usually it's supposed to be the other way where you're just like, I hate this. <laughs> I'm hating this, but I'm actually loving I'm loving the process. Um, it's really taking me to another space and yeah I think I'll, I probably will continue with this um just not today <laughs> I definitely want to work on it um and uh yeah I'll leave it at that for this video and the next part obviously is continuing this painting and you actually seeing that whole surface finished, hopefully. <laughs> but as you know, with paintings, it's not a, it's not just a quick, it's not a quick fix. But, well, <laughs> I don't know if it's a quick fix per se, but it's not like a quick, quick thing that you just do a little painting there, throw, uh, splatter some paint. Well, I mean, you can splatter paint if you want to but um if you're really getting into the process of painting uh, whether it's acrylics or um, oil painting you're, you're gonna get deep in there and um you have to fi figure out when you're gonna well you don't have to figure out when you'll surface um or come out of <laughs> that one little painting but or big painting um but definitely i think it's uh it's a wonderful process and uh no i i can guarantee you this painting you're going you're going to see the, the finished <laughs> finished part of it. at least the top part you'll see the, the finished version of that um it's not going to go unfinished <laughs> Anyhow, thank you for watching. If um, you want to comment on that and you have anything that you want to share on this uh, painting, 
that I've been working on, please, please do. All right, toodles, bye.